you've been great in passing right now. Great in passing. I think she has a four-game streak of double-doubles with assists and points. That is good. So good, in fact, that she's tied with Sue Berg for the record for a rookie with points and assists. And if she get one more, she going to pass her. I ain't talking about in a row. I'm talking about period. These women are breaking records. In the WNBA, as long as the, w, the WNBA been around since 1997, and these rookies who are coming into the WNBA right now are breaking their records. And I tell you what, they don't like it. They don't like that shit not one bit. Can you imagine how it feels for somebody to break your damn record and you still playing? What up, it's your boy Chocolati with the Sexy Body. Welcome to a new episode of Chocolati Plays Reaction Videos. You know who it's for. Y'all know who we here for. That girl, Kaylin Clark. Yeah, that girl, Kaylin Clark. Let me say it one more time for the people in the back. That girl, Kaylin Clark. I remember one day I was speaking to my best friend, the no dude of over 30 years. And he was like, I was going back and forth with him. Actually, it was just me talking <laughs> about the WNBA and some of the things that I was seeing in there and some of the things that I, that I thought could uh, they can improve, right, to make it, make it better. And he goes, you know what, bro? You're a WNBA fan. <laughs> and we started laughing, right? And I was like, no, nah, man, it's because of CeCe, right? He was like, yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and it was the truth. It was because of CeCe. And it's real talk. I wasn't watching women's basketball at all, guys, at all. So for somebody to sit there and call me or call anybody a Kaitlyn fan, you have to understand, if they wasn't watching any basketball and they was watching her, then whatever they watch out there is going to be brand new to them. And everything that I see is brand new to me. All these new players, they're brand new to me. I was watching CeCe because of how good of a player I believe she is. And what I saw out there, that damn passing I saw from her was incredible. I cannot deny that. Yeah, everybody talk about her shooting threes, but the fact that she can shoot threes, and pass, and drive, the way she sees the court. Her defense might not be the best, but damn it, it's improving. <laughs> it is improving. So when I look at the WNBA, and I see the games that, that they play against her, I see Jewel Lloyd, I see Asia, I see Kelsey, I see um, Inoskew, I see Kennedy, who really can hoop. She can really hoop, no, not no bullshit. Even even DT, these people, they can play, but it's also a lot of out in that bitch that cannot play. Oh, my God, y'all are terrible. It's a lot of females out there that look like they should be delivering DoorDash. I'm not playing. There's a lot of them. A lot of them look they think like they should be working behind the counter at the movies, but they in the WNBA. And it's terrible to watch. Y'all, a minute, to, I don't care. If y'all don't believe, if y'all don't agree with me, but there's some people out there who agree with me, and we agree that it wasn't a good product, and it's sprinkles of it still here and there that it's still not a good product because there aren't very many good players. Candace Parker was a beast when I see all them highlights from her, man. Damn, where she at? She didn't left, right? Liz Cambridge footage when I see her playing, where did she go? She didn't left. There's a lot of them. There's a one who, uh, as an announcer on ESPN, she didn't left. Bro, I tell you this. If they was getting paid $5.5 million a year to go out there and play WNBA, they all still would be playing. It would be wide open. It wouldn't be no damn 12 teams. 12 teams? Y'all go against each other enough to figure out each other and how to beat y'all. That's why it's going to be very hard for the fever to beat these teams that are at the top, especially the teams like the Aces, they got four Olympians. The damn Liberty, who got two Olympians on their team. The Mercury had three Olympians. There's Olympians on all these damn teams that's at the very top. The Connecticut Sun, they got a damn uh, uh, Olympian over there. These people got Olympians on their team, as old as they is, and guess what? Experienced as they are in that league. We get to see it now. So now we're doing things like this. We're doing things like this. I need them to figure out how to beat these teams, coach sides. I need you to figure out because you're playing them too many times for them, for them to have the formula for how to beat you, but you not them. And it starts with your coaching. It starts for me, like, who are you going to play? Who's going to be in the starting lineup? 
Because if you want to put off an upset against the Liberty, you're going to have to find out, find a way to, what did I say last time, right? I, I didn't say stop, neutralize. You got uh, Brianna Stewart over there. You got Sabrina Inoscu. You got uh, was it, uh, Jaquil James. I can't remember pronounce her name. There's another one over there. All of them right now are averaging double digits per game. All of them. But Stewie over there is averaging 20 plus. And Anoscu is right behind her, but she's been in a shooting slump lately. Her threes have not been falling. So if that's the case, I need y'all to put a body on Sabrina. I need y'all to put a constant body on Sabrina. I need y'all to constantly attack her with Wheeler and Caitlin, because Caitlin can play up on her. She can play good defense. Go back and look at her, her games where she wants to play defense. Sometimes she's out there like James Harden. <laughs> she's out there. I'm not trying to, you know, lose up all my energy on defense. Give me the ball so we can go down there and run a play. That's what she's about. But that's going to have to change because until coach size gives you the green light, you're going to have to get effective in the other areas of your game, which by, might I add, you've been great in passing right now. Great in passing. I think she has a four-game streak of double-doubles with assist and points. That is good. So good, in fact, that she's tied with Sue Berg for the record for a rookie with points and assist. And if she get one more, she gonna pass her. I ain't talking about in a row. I'm talking about period. These women are breaking records. In the WNBA, as long as the, w, the WNBA been around since 1997 and these rookies who are coming into the WNBA right now are breaking their records. And I tell you what, they don't like it. They don't like that shit not one bit. Can you imagine how it feels for somebody to break your damn record and you still playing? <sighs> that shit hurts. You think that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was happy that LeBron James broke his scoring record? Look, guys, there are things in life that we want to do and have that shit be there forever. It's how we live on. It's the one thing that somebody can always praise you for. You're human. Trust me. If there was something out there that people recognized you for, you wouldn't want nobody to take that shit from you. But these girls are coming in and they're doing that. They're taking all the shine. All of it. And these damn girls is delusional as hell. Have y'all, did y'all see the press conferences with uh, Kelsey, is, is, is it Plum? Kelsey Plum and uh, Aisha Wilson. But then the other one with Diane Taurasi and uh, old girl Cloud. What is it? Naisa, Aisha Cloud. I got your name wrong. I'm sorry, baby girl. I'll get it right in the future. But you see the press conferences when they was talking to them about the attendance in all these games. And they was like, shit, we get this all the time. We just be in our nonchalant. Psh, we get this shit all the time. We, it's eight, we, we done had so at the last eight games here. And then you got Asia and them over there. Oh, we always get these games sold out. We always get these games. Do y'all? Do y'all, because the last game the Aces played against the Fever, 20,000 plus in attendance. You want to know how many was in attendance at the, at the Atlanta Dream game last night? 10,736. Y'all dropped 10,000 people. That means 10,000 people came out to watch Kaitlyn play. Half the people in your building came out to watch one person. And guess what? They had to move the game to a whole new stadium so they could fit everybody in that shit. Kaylin is the truth. She's the reason why all this is being right now. And fans of other players are upset that it's not them. That's why y'all keep having people be like, I hate these CC fans, these CC fans, this. These CC fans, what? Anybody who's gotten on this channel and watched what I say, y'all see me say what I need to say about CC, whether it's negative or positive. I call out what happens, right? Right? That's what people come and listen to me for because I keep it real. They don't come over here because I'm over here blowing smoke up Kayla's butt. No. When she out there turning the ball over off a bad pass, I call it. But when it's also her teammates that just ain't catching, I call that shit too. And the majority of the times the teammates ain't catching it. Just like the fans who get upset when they say Angel Reese's rebounds come off of her misses. You see what I'm saying? There is a divide here, guys. And trust me, I ain't divided at all. I told you what I was here for. Everybody know it. Everybody who been rocking with me know what I'm here for. Casual fan who lost the love for the sport, sports period. And then I heard about CeCe and I want to see it succeed because I hate it when people talk down on somebody. You understand what I'm saying? I hate it when people make somebody to, to be something that they are not. All those fans who kept rooting for Floyd Mayweather to lose, I'm like, why? He's the best. I want to see him keep winning so y'all can keep eating y'all words. 
That's what I want CC to do. I want CC to make all them people out there eat their words. And this could be a great way to do it by beating the Liberty this weekend. I'm going to do a live later tonight after I drop this video. I'm going to do a live before the game too so we can talk about that. But I feel like they can beat them. And I feel like they can beat them if they start tinkering around and fixing the starting lineup. I say put Timmy in the starting lineup. Why do you have three guards in the starting lineup? Why were you starting with Wallace, Mitchell, and Kaitlyn? Why not start with um, Mitchell and Kaitlyn at, at guard and then you play at forward Smith and Boston and have Timmy play center? Run them all at the same time. That way you can get a body on Foster. You can get a body on her. When you start doing the rotations, I need you to rotate one of those big girls out, right, and put Katie Lou in. And when you take out either Caitlin or Mitchell, if it's Mitchell, please put Wheeler in. Don't take out Caitlin and put Wheeler in that with Mitchell. That's when shit goes to hell. That's when everything just goes sour when you do that. Because you get one-on-one -on -one basketball situations. That's where it happens at, guys. I was trying to figure it out. I was like, well, at what point does the game turn from team ball into one-on-one? -on -one? And it's when they put Mitchell and Wheeler in the game because neither one of them have a grasp on who should be the primary ball handler. We know it should be Kaitlyn. And people and coach thinks it should be Mitchell. But at some point in time, Coach Sides going to have to get on our side and be like, look, we got to let the ball flow through Kaitlyn. That's how it's got to be. Mitchell can shoot from wherever she needs to. Just get her the ball. Let Kaitlyn do it. With Timmy and Boston in there, you got two slashers. And, and I know Timmy going to hold her pick because she don't like, she's afraid of contact. These other girls do. This is what y'all need to do in order to beat the Liberty, guys. Put Kaitlyn on Sabrina and you stay up in her chest. She can do it. If y'all go back and look at that game, look at how many times she was in front of Jackie Young. In front of her, stopping her from getting to the getting to the glass, stopping her from making the pass. Kaylin was doing that. Go look at the plus minuses, guys. Mitchell is the one that's the 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 weak link, weak link on defense. It ain't Kaylin. I even saw, I think I saw a thing that said that Smith's brother called uh, Kaylin's um, defense garbage. That should not be happening right now. You do not want people inside of the ranks to destroy the team. Y'all need to build camaraderie, and y'all got a whole nother day to do it before y'all go out there and play the absolute best team right now in the WNBA who's only lost three games, I think. I think they 17 and three. This is how you beat them. Jaquel, you can neutralize her by getting rebounds, Boston. And she, Boston been cleaning up right now. She's also averaging a double-double right now, guys. It ain't just, what's the name over there that's doing her thing? It's, 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 they saying it because it's Angel and she's a rookie. But Boston is getting double-doubles too. And just imagine if Kaylin can go on this streak. Because she could damn near average a triple-double with the way she's been playing. I, I'm telling y'all, she can do it. This team can be better than what y'all see out there. It just needs a different lineup. It needs a different scheme. And it needs, hell, it just need a different coach. It just needs, it just needs a different coach, guys. Look, that is my time. I appreciate y'all being here, man. Later on, we're going to talk about um, LeBron and this this thing that's going on with his son in the, in the, in the uh, NBA right now. A lot of people don't like it. And free agency has been crazy, man. How, how y'all feel about Clay going over there to Dallas? Y'all feel like that's going to be the factor that they need to get over the hump, get to the championship round? And we're going to find out. Look, guys, I thank y'all for rocking with your boy. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy drop videos i appreciate all y'all for being here look man salute to y'all guys we up in the thousands i got a thousand video i gotta make it's probably gonna be the next one i, I know i keep saying it i'm gonna get that thing out there to y'all i promise thank y'all for helping me get there you guys are the absolute best i'll see y'all tonight in the live if y'all checking in or tomorrow in the live whenever we're gonna find, figure it out and hey kaylin y'all can beat the liberty if y'all do what i just said <laughs> and y'all take care peace